Welcome back to Olympic Diaries. This is episode number three. Welcome to Tokyo. We made it. Let me give you a quick tour of the apartment. So this is uh, this is my room. Oh, zoom back out. This is my room and Keenan. I'm sharing with Keenan. Swimmy's not here at the moment. So we got one bed there. That's Keenan's bed. Next bed here, a bit more messy, that's my bed. Wardrobe, that's Keenan's side, that's my side, not yet filled out yet. And we've got a nice little balcony where you can see different things, including just here, there, that's Tokyo Tower, the uh, Eiffel Tower equivalent. And we've got a nice little view. In the night time it looks really, really nice. I'm not sure what this chair is doing in here, but it must be in Keenan's use. And this is the outside, just got a table, a few chairs, and just an open space really. I'm not really sure what kind of can be done in here. I think other teams might have some bean bags or something set up. Then this is the bathroom, quite small, not much space in here to really do anything. But yeah, I think some other teams might have like a uh, TV set up or uh, bean bags or something for their that athletes to sit on, but we don't have that. Which is fine, no big deal, no big deal whatsoever, but welcome today. This is going to be my unpacking of my Olympic kit video. This is it. I got all my kit. I've been quite busy since I've arrived, kind of running around trying to sort things out, get the things that I need to get. Uh, so I haven't really actually had a chance to unpack all my stuff yet. But that time has come. Now, we're going to unpack. This is one of the t-shirts, firstly. And this is one of the pair of shorts. Training shorts. Nice. Same t-shirt but medium. So a little bit tighter. For some reason I got quite a lot of medium things in my kit. So as you can see this is a very tight fitting shirt but I actually don't mind it. Works out quite well to be honest. This is some casual village wear. Really good quality from Puma. Really good quality. Pair that with the hoodie. This is a bright and loud hoodie though. Loud. Very, very loud. I think these are the only shorts that actually have pockets. Look at this for a jacket. How's that for a look? <laughs> now there's a few pieces that I'm not going to be able to show you right now because I don't have them because uh, for some reason I got some uh, I got some mediums so I'm sending those off to change and get the ones that will actually fit me. Medium will fit but it's just a bite. It's just a little bit too tight. And I feel like if I can get it changed then you know might as well make use of it now rather than being stuck with something that I don't necessarily want. This is a large, this is how a large fits. Medium would fit, but it's just a little bit tight, you know? Sweatshorts, yellow, bold, loud, just like Jamaica standard. Yeah, yeah, I think this is a, a village wear, casual, just like the green one that I just had on recently. Oh, the yellow one actually, same thing. Similar look, casual, relaxed. Nice Olympic rings. Finally, a short sleeve t-shirt. Short sleeve t-shirt. I think all my short sleeve t-shirts are the ones that I'm sending to get changed because they're all mediums. And I think this one might even be a medium. Let me see. Yeah, this one's a medium, so it fits. It's just a little bit. It could fit better. It could fit better. I think I'm gonna like this one. Yes. This is a nice vest, big fan. You know what, I'm glad that they've gone for some different coloured sweatpants because I always used to get grey ones and I'm kind of bored of grey. So it's nice to have some colour. Like all my Rio kit was like grey on top and bottom. I'm not gonna need any of these sweat tops at this point because it's so warm here. Literally so hot in Tokyo, so if I wear these I'll be sweating like crazy. So I'm not even going to bother wearing them, but obviously 
it's nice to have them very grateful very appreciative but this if i wore this outside i would be tremendously too hot but it's going to be perfect for winter time at home although that being said i didn't wear any of my 2016 kit after the games didn't wear any of it i literally locked it up in my suitcase and left it and now it's literally only just now that i started to wear a bit of it again because i'm coming back to the game so i don't even know if i'll wear any of this kit but i guess time will tell and we'll see i like this jacket it's a nice jacket obviously the good thing with not wearing the kit is it stays fresh it stays nice and it's still fresh now which is cool my 2016 kit that's kind of like the same for this like you know i won't want to spill things on this and make it dirty for no reason because it's beautiful and it's good memories that's what it's all about this is cool i like this jacket very bright one more thing we need to try on that i've got one more thing that i need to try on is the opening ceremony outfit so i don't yet have the t-shirt because that's being changed for a different size but i've got the pants i think this is also the podium outfit as well which is funny because we got a separate podium tracksuit to the opening ceremony tracksuit last time around so i feel like they've gone a bit easy this time but then this is the jacket which i also really really like of course i like it i'm never gonna not like it now this this is a dope tracksuit this is a cool tracksuit so that's my unpacking done as i say i've got a few more things to come so i'll show you those once i get it but in the meantime this is the kit and it looks sick it's day three for me in the village so far i'm tired but i'm okay it was the opening ceremony last night which was absolutely phenomenal absolutely phenomenal it was really good yeah i don't know who thought it was a good idea to put these things <laughs> Especially knowing what it's like to walk out into a full stadium. It was strange to walk out to nothing, to quietness. Being able to actually like hear the volunteers clapping. Normally you just hear cheers from the crowd every time a nation is called, especially J Jamaica. Jamaica is normally very appreciated, but it was just quiet and it was very strange. <laughs>
the opening ceremony and all of the team to make it basically left. It's just me and Keenan. <laughs> we are the only ones here representing Jamaica in this entire 80,000 seat stadium, I think it is. And we're the only Jamaicans. I don't know where they went. They just left, but so be it. That's what this game's going to be like in every single sport. I'm watching Liverpool now, football going on, swimming, empty stadiums. I think swimmers are allowed to watch the events and I think the same for diving, but you know, there's not going to be other football teams coming to watch the football events. It's just going to be there. It's like going back to what the Premier League was like early in the season. It's just a shame. But the opening ceremony was good fun. They had drones which created the world, like a 3D image of the world, it was actually unbelievable, I've never seen anything like it. I've seen drones do the drone shows, but just like kind of 2D. This is like a 3D image of an actual globe hovering above the stadium. It almost looked like a massive, massive super moon. And then we had a full moon right next to it as well, which was just perfect. Then there was the pictogram guy who displayed all the pictograms. Then the flames lit, which was an awesome moment. The light of the Olympic flames is like obviously the true signal when the game starts and I remember the moment that I had in Rio with my friend Sam watching the flame being lit and just having that little moment where we were like oh my god this is it we've made it we've made it this is it this is what it's all about what a feeling that was and it was the same thing this time around you know I wasn't really feeling it but when I seen that flame lit and it was lit by Naomi Osaka changed it for me <laughs> With regards to training, I had two sessions yesterday, one session today. I got my full list done today, obviously down with Edwin, which is really nice, like a reunion. I've seen AD today, he's come with the Australians. First time I've seen AD since 2019, which is crazy. First time the Australians have basically been allowed outside of Australia because of all the lockdowns and everything that they've had over there. They're, I think, just buzzing to be anywhere else but Australia at this point. But yeah, it's great. It's the Olympics again. Absolutely buzzing. I think I might have said it before, but you know, I was looking forward to London last year. That was my motivation. What I'm seeing now, all these athletes, for them, it's their motivation. It's my motivation watching them compete. I'm looking forward to competing now. I've still got just over a week. I've got like uh, a week and one day at this point. I've got so long until I compete. When the day comes, I'm just, it's, there's nothing else I can do apart from just simply enjoy it. I've just got to simply enjoy it because it really shows the importance and it shows the meaning and I'm so grateful that it's going ahead. Kind of getting familiar with the village. There's a few things I need to pick up, uh, a few freebies that I can get. Maybe try and engineer some kit exchanges as well at some point, which will be quite fun. Normally I hold on to my Jamaican kit like quite tightly, I don't like giving it away. But this time I'm a little bit different. I still want to keep it as much as I can, but at the same time, I'd like to get some other pieces of kit because basically what happened last time was I put all my Jamaican kit on my Rio Jamaican kit in my suitcase and left it there and literally didn't touch it until this year. The reason I did that is because I was almost scared of it in certain ways. Not scared of it, but scared of what it represented, worried that that was my one and only opportunity to do it and I didn't want to kind of jinx anything. That's why I put it away because it made me feel humble again. This time around is a little bit different because I've proved something to myself by making it. I want to, you know, continue using it because I think that's the right thing to do. Starting to get used to the jet lag, oh, well, to the time difference. Starting to feel tired at the right times, which is good. Although, that means I felt kind of tired all day. But hopefully, 
I have another good night's sleep. This is the third night. This is where it normally goes wrong for me. Well, I normally have a bad night's sleep, so hopefully I sleep all the way through because I'm knackered after the opening ceremony. Because um, I finished late, got back into the village about 1.30, went straight to the dining hall, had dinner, um, and then came to bed. So yes, I'm tired and I'm ready to go to sleep, but I need to go to sleep at a long time because I don't want to go to sleep too soon and wake up too early. That would make no sense. But we get back to train some morning and the day gets closer and closer.